Okay, so let's see how we can uh, create random numbers that are drawn from a discrete distribution and an arbitrary discrete distribution. And the way to think about it is pretty straightforward. Uh, remember that a discrete distribution looks something like this. We have a certain number of values such as x0, uh, x1, x2, x3, etc. And we have a certain probability of being having that value x1, x, x0, x1, x2, x3, etc. So these are these particular discrete values. And we know that the sum of the probability of each of the xi is going to be 1. So that's what we know. And we'll, generate, we'll say that um, the probability that the random variable x takes on the value xi, we'll just call that pi for convenience. So in fact, what you're saying over here that this value is p0, this is p1, this is p2, this is p3, etc. So what we want to do is to generate these uh, uh, one of the values x0, x1, x2, x3, and so on, such that the uh, probability of drawing the value x0 is p0, the value drawing p1, uh, x1 is p1, and so on. And so here's the trick for doing it. First, we generate a uniform random variable in the range 0, 1. So it's a random number that's between 0 and 1. And what we do is we say the output x is equal to something like that. We're saying it's going to be x0 if the uniform, so we draw this value u from this range if u is less than p0. And it's going to be x1 if uh, p0 is less than or equal to u is less than p0 plus P1. And let me write one more x2 if P1, sorry, P0 plus P1 is less than or equal to U less than P0 plus P1 plus P2. So, really, what's going on is something like this we are generating the discrete cumulative density function over the values, which looks something like this. It's a step value like this. And what we're doing is we are, we are drawing a random uniform value sort of like this. We don't know where we're going to lie on the y-axis. And we're saying if we lie in this range, in this range over here, then we can call that the, uh, the output is x0. And if it lies in this range over here, we'll say that the output is x1. If it lies in this range, it's x2, and so on. So what's really going on intuitively is that we have a uniform probability of lying in this vertical range from 0 to 1. And obviously, the higher the probability that it is of, let's say, x1 is a high probability, then the higher the probability that we're going to lie in this range over here. So the wider this vertical interval, the greater the probability that uniformly drawn random variable in the range 0 to 1 is going to lie in this range over here. And therefore, the greater the probability that the output is going to be x1. And so man, moment's thought reveals that all we need to do is to therefore generate uniform random variables like this and then use this rule, which essentially conceptualizes or, uh, or represents uh, this figure over here. And that will give us random variables that are drawn from any arbitrary discrete distribution, just as we want it. Okay, so let's see how we can use this approach for generating uh, values from a Poisson distribution. So uh, remember that a Poisson distribution, P sub i, which is the probability of uh, the, the dis random variable taking on the value i, is given by uh, e to the minus lambda, lambda to the i by i factorial for i equals 0, 1, 2, etc. So this is really telling us the probability of uh, i arrivals in a given interval in time. And as you can see, uh, this value goes down very, very fast. But the interesting part is that if from this equation, it's easy to see that p i plus 1 is given by lambda by i plus 1 
times pi for i equals 0, 1, 2, etc. And so let's think of it like this. We have over here, as before, on the uh, x-axis, we're going to draw the value i. And on the y-axis, we're going to draw the cumulative distribution of the probability. So I'm just going to write down cumulative. And so we have some initial value over here, which is e to the minus lambda. And then that's a probability of 0. And then the step above is given by the previous value, p0, multiplied by lambda over i plus 1. So lambda times p0 over i plus 1, so that's, a, that's just 1. And then the step above is given by lambda over i plus 1 of p1. And the step above is given by lambda plus i plus 1 over p2, and so on and so forth. So all we need to do is use the same thing as before. We're going to generate a uniform random variable in the range 0 to 1. And what we'll do is we're going to check whether the random variable lies in the first range, in, in the range 0 to e to the minus lambda. If it is, then the output is 0. Then we're going to try if it lies in the range lambda times this. And if it lies over here, then we're going to say, OK, it lies in this range, and so on and so forth. So here are the steps. So first, we generate, uh, so you generate u as distributed as uniform 0, 1. And then we set i equals 0, that's initial value. And we set p equals e to the minus lambda. And then we have this temporary variable f equals p. And then we just do the step check over here. If this u is less than f, then we are in the right range. So we just say return return i, and we're done. If that's not the case, then we set p equals lambda p over i plus 1, and we said f equals uh, f equals f plus p, and i equals i plus 1. So we're going to just increment this and go back to step 3. And we keep doing this until we find the right value, and this generates uh, random variables which are drawn from the Poisson distribution.